Donald Ray Ramirez was born on the 2nd of August in the year 1978 to a Puerto Rican unwed teenage mother and an African-American father. His father left a black hole in his life, abstinent and devoid of light, gifting him only with the seed it took to plant him into his destiny. When he was in utero, just a mere fetus, the very man who sparked his life almost ended his existence while battering his mother. It would not be a planned, easy, or welcome beginning. Young Donald was raised and adopted by his grandparents as a baby. His patriarchal figure became his grandfather. There was purpose. The Bible says man looks at the outer appearance, but God peruses, protects, and procures the heart. The heart of a man can be treacherous and can cause or receive blunt, bludgeoning trauma. That very trauma can arrest your access, bind your basic belief systems, cannibalize your character, and detain your destiny. 3616 Elm Street, East Chicago, Indiana. The address of God's temple, an edifice, a sanctuary, the site of the cross church. And yet, oh, it is so much more. It is a place of trauma that would lead to triumph. On these very grounds, young Donald would suffer crosses and in the same place exchange these same crosses for the cross to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Throughout his childhood, he struggled with identity, rejection, and family. He couldn't read, comprehend, or complete his destiny. He couldn't breathe. Devoid of hope, with a sick heart, he chose the street as his family. He felt unloved on all fronts and acted out behaviors that would double down in his mind of why God would not choose him. By age 13, he had already joined the 2-6 Nation gang and would start living a life that would spiral out of control. But there was purpose. Oh yeah, there was purpose. In 1996, the young Donald spent the better part of a year in jail for a home invasion case. By age 16, he shot at people, sold drugs, and at one point was feminine fighting to stave off a 30-year prison sentence in which God vindicated completely. Jesus, Donald's eventual savior in Christ, grew up in a town called Nazareth. It had been stated in the Bible that nothing good came out of that town. And like the son of God, Donald grew up in a town where you could derail quickly and derail he did. His home life affected his ability to concentrate in school. Falling behind academically, he became defensive, combative. His anger increased with his inability to comprehend or excel. But God had a plan. Knowing each other since the age of 10, Marlene and Donald would eventually find their way to each other. Their love story like Joseph and Mary started out very controversial. Donald's devotion and heart for her was inviting and inclusive of all and who she brought with her. He unselfishly embraced, accepted and loved and encompassed what she loved, who belonged to her. He took on a family at the age of 17 years. He vowed to support and love his newfound family his two sons and his wife. He moved out of the neighborhood re he resided in in order to be a better parent and husband with the desire to provide a better life and to protect his family from his past. He promised from the beginning that they would never lack a thing. Even through his struggles and fighting his past issues that lingered in his heart, he worked hard and provided the life he promised to his wife and sons. In spite of his brokenness, he stood up and protected and preserved and pursued excellence for his family. 
what Donald never had as a young boy, God would give him as a man, the gift of family. Jamie and Giovanni, his sons, were his greatest gifts. Fatherhood was his saving grace. His work ethics were and still are impeccable, even in his beginnings. His desire was to break all generational cycles so that his sons could be all they were called to and not have to go through anything that he did. At the age of 38, Donald would be afforded a brief reconciliation with his father. The bond would be short-lived due to his father's illness and subsequent death. Donald's own take on the reunion was profound. And I quote, God didn't bring my father back to me so he could now father me. He brought him back so I could get closure. My father's absence provoked God's presence in me. Donald has always realized his walk was difficult and different, but for a long time, he just couldn't understand why. But he started to slowly understand why. In jail, he was granted the opportunity to begin Bible studies where he would teach over 50 inmates the Word of God. In 2004, he distributed more than 800 flyers urging youth to attend a Freedom Fest in East Chicago. The call to the ministry weighed heavy on him. He hosted events to reach the young men trapped in the gang life. Knowing that God had a purpose, he grew as a man and continued to work wholeheartedly to take care of his family. Something he takes pride in, even now. Not knowing what awaited his future, he remains steadfast as a goal setter and a dreamer. Working in factories, USG and Cargill, he would excel in his jobs, moving up fairly quickly with no college degrees. But the God that he had served so faithfully showed him favor. Before being called into the ministry, God was training him for leadership, something he would unwillingly and unwittingly be called for and into. In 2014, his life would forever be changed. April 21, 2014, Donald, alongside his wife and two sons would begin their ministry and their journey. It was inevitably that it would become an impasse for him. He had been with each passing year doing more and more as it related to the ministry and feeding God's flock. His lucrative job, personal and family goals alongside his ever-growing responsibility as a man of God had met up at the crossroads. He had to choose the direction he was going to take, God or mammon. What will it be, a pastor or this job? Asked his supervisor. With quiet trepidation and prayer and supplication coupled with a wife, two children, a mortgage, bills, and hardcore uber faith, he allowed himself to be walked off this hard-fought job. For the level of sacrifice made, Donald boldly petitioned God for a great return. Some may call his prayers arrogant, but like Peter or David in the Bible, he too always kept it real. He did not want a basement movement or a 25-year ministry with his family of four and only a harvest of six of more. He had crazy radical faith with Joseph gigantic type dreams. This six-year-old ministry has reaped a harvest of a permanent residence after four moves within five years, a ministry of hope, healing, deliverance, and restoration. God is doing a new thing. Too much is given, much is required. Pastor Don's vision for sustainability in times of drought have been accurate, forward thinking, and timely. God has given him the opportunity to launch a business that would create mentoring opportunities to those who need it the most. His heart is to empower and create stable and hardworking men through his business named Divine Landscaping and Property Management. Donald Ramirez has a shepherd's heart. He listens and is open to new services, appropriate ministries and programs, and 
per the needs of this multicultural intergenerational congregation and the community at large, he moves on their behalf. He uses a spiritual staff to lovingly guide and correct his congregants. He makes sure that they are properly trained in the ways of God through the word, and he pours oil over God's sheep for their protection and to bless them without ego or error. Micah 6 and 8 reads, Oh, show me a man that is good. And what do the Lord require thee but to do justice, love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God? Donald Ramirez is an excellent man with a godly heart who, despite the odds, triumphs over trauma. His ministry is giving others the tools to become overcomers too. We can't forget his greatest accomplishment, and that is being a papa to his two little grandsons. From a young man who could have lost his life to the streets to now being a grandfather, what a sign of God's mercy and grace that he has been given. He is now fully walking in his vocation as a man of purpose. How does one do a 360 and turn trauma into triumph? Donald Ramirez is senior pastor of the Cross Church, but he's also an apostle, called, chosen, gifted, and anointed. He is an astute entrepreneur with a business acumen that brings bounty to God's ministry, himself and others. He has favor with God and man and sits on boards and banters and brokers prophetically originated deals with kingmakers. Most would call this phenomenon highly favored. Walking this delicate tightrope has cost him plenty. Many have come and gone in his life, walked in and out of his ministry, abandoned him without warning or explanation. But he continues to move in patience, long suffering, love, and strength. He is tender and tough. Say but not soft, a gentle giant, an overcomer, and more than a conqueror. 